Hi, I'm Bethany, a painter based in San Francisco, California, and today I wanted to tell you about my latest painting. I painted an oil painting of the singer and actress Joyce Bryant. Joyce Bryant is also known as the Bronze Blonde Bombshell. So today I wanted to tell you a few things about her and about the painting I've done of her. So Joyce Bryant was born October 14th, 1925. She was born in Oakland, California. So a few things to know about Joyce Bryant's early life is that she was raised in a Seventh-day Adventist household. It was very strict and her parents also were married but had a rocky relationship and soon later divorced. So that led her to be raised, even though she was born in Oakland, she was raised mainly in San Francisco. At the age of 14 she got married and then later annulled the marriage. After this, I guess it compelled her to move to Los Angeles, California, where she did an audition that eventually set her on the path to becoming a renowned singer and actress. So Joyce, like I said, moved to Los Angeles, and while she was there, she went to a nightclub, and this nightclub happened to have audience tryouts. She auditioned, and people were amazed, and she was hired on the spot. So getting this job at the nightclub paid her well and basically launched her to career to keep going as a singer. She later received the reputation of having a voice you would always remember. So at this point of her career, after receiving the reputation of being a voice you would always remember, she was renowned pretty much all over the world. She was internationally known and was starting to appear in magazines and things like that. But this did not come without its struggles. She talked about how she received a lot of discrimination. She was treated like an employee at the hotels she would be working at. She wasn't allowed to sleep at a lot of the hotels in places she would be uh, when she would be out on the road. And also the KKK threatened her, which was crazy, and this affected her deeply. So this event was very traumatic. They basically had a puppet of Joyce that they burnt, which, like I said, was really traumatic to her. Oh, and so in 1953, Joyce appeared in Life magazine. She was one of the few black people to be featured in major magazines. She was quickly becoming a sex symbol, mainly because of her drop dead beauty. She was drop dead gorgeous. She would paint her hair in this metallic -y, silvery color, which was just gorgeous and obviously stood out and popped. And also her dresses. Her dresses were beautiful. She would wear mermaid, like gorgeous, tight fitting dresses with the back cut low. It was amazing at that time. So she was obviously known as a sex symbol and which also got her the original reputation I said earlier as the bronze blonde bombshell. So she had been doing a lot of work at this time. She had done 118 shows at a nightclub. She had been performing in shows alongside the likes of Josephine Baker and things were going great. She had appeared in Ebony Magazine. She had um, also appeared in, like I said, Life. And she was making a good amount of money from doing this. But then, of course, drama came along and she was being stopped. Um, her sh she was a sex symbol and a lot of her songs were seen as very sexual. 
So all the people at the nightclub she performed at loved her music. Everyone loved her music, but her two biggest hits were not played on the radio. And this is because, like I said, she was a sex symbol. And so some of her music was seen as a little too risque, supposedly. So the two songs that were not played on radio was Love for Safe and Drunk with Love. These were her, also her two biggest hits. And sadly, they weren't played on the radio. So, like I said, she was renowned. Her voice was amazing. She had a four and a half octave range, which is unbelievable. And everyone loved her. Everyone couldn't get enough of her. Her beauty was to die for. And everything seemed to be going well. Until one day in 1955. After her performance, she was brutally attacked and although she was attacked this affected her career this put a bad taste in the public's mouth about her even though she was the victim um after this her career pretty much slowed down um almost to a complete stop but she still kind of kept working so sadly after becoming addicted to pills this was not the end of her problems. She then um, began to feel pain in her throat, which led her to go back to the doctor to see if she could do anything to mitigate this issue. Then her doctors and her managers um, urged her to spray cocaine on her throat. This then tur turned her off from the industry and she retired basically from the singing industry at the age of 28 years old so because she was done singing and being a part of the industry she then um was enrolled in school and was able to get help from instructors and to return in 1960 as an opera singer singing at the likes of the new york city opera she then was also able to become a vocal instructor. So if you enjoyed hearing about Joyce Bryant, the painting I was inspired to paint of her is linked below. Please also support the channel. And there is more information, of course, about her out there. There's a documentary and things like that that you can also research about her. So I hope you enjoyed hearing about this Bay Area legend. And bye.